from whom Colonel Gaddafi derives his power, the tribal leaders and their supporters, this group from Sabah in the south. To the east, the rebels demand not just that Colonel Gaddafi leaves power, but also the order he established be replaced. That involves the fate not only of these tribes, but of the two biggest, the Magara, a million strong, and the Warfala, from which the army is drawn. On show today, that same strength and unity that so far has kept the rebels back. But elsewhere, there are signs of weakness. At the petrol pumps, the queues now stretch over a mile long, with reports today the rebels have cut a key oil pipeline that feeds the capital. The outcome of this conflict may eventually hinge on something as basic as fuel. The ministers here persist with the same rhetoric that all is well, but several press conferences we've been brought to in recent days have betrayed the concerns and the strategic importance of oil, not only to the ability of the army to fight, but also in the regime's ability to control the growing civilian pressures. In the adjacent room, the Prime Minister was holding crisis talks with his new oil minister. And from this meeting, they emerged with a last chance offer. The prospect of future oil exploration contracts in exchange for a ceasefire. They sense the impatience growing in the West. They're trying to drive a wedge between the NATO countries. And they've pinpointed Italy, which has more to lose here than most. <laughs> So now the Italian government needs to forget totally about uh, Libyan oil and every agreement we signed with it in the past. It smacked of desperation from a government isolated under mounting pressure. This country depends on oil for food distribution, water supplies, the gathering of the upcoming harvest. With the rise in these searing summer temperatures, the oil crisis could yet prove the decisive factor in removing the colonel from power. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Tripoli. The Italian Senate has approved an emergency austerity budget worth around 50 billion euros. 